Hi guys, I'm Kim and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm here today to talk you through my May budget wrap up. So we're going to go through all the areas that we overspent and underspent. Um, spoiler alert, there was definitely quite some um, amounts of overspending, but we did end up earning more for the month than planned. So I suppose in a way we can kind of justify it. <laughs> Well, that's what I tell myself anyway. The budget template and spreadsheet that I use, um, a version of it is actually available in my Etsy store for sale. So if that's something you're interested in, I will leave the link to that down in my bio. It is an instant uh, download to Excel. Um, and it also comes with a video that is on my YouTube channel um, on instructions on how to use it. Anyway, let's jump straight into it. So I'm just going to go through um, each line and let you know what we budgeted, what we actually spent and what the difference was. Um, and then I will let you know where we're at for the month with our sinking funds as well as um, give you a quick look at some little data and charts. So um, I planned for my income to bring in $4,799 for the month of May and that's exactly what I bought in. Ben planned to bring in $4,400 and he ended up bringing in $5,361.40, which was $961.40 more than budgeted for. So that was definitely a win for the month. Um, so we budgeted to bring in $9,199 between the two of us and we actually ended up bringing in $10,160.40. So we were pretty stoked with that outcome. So now let's get down into the expenses part of it. Um, so we planned and spent on our mortgage $1,444. Um, I planned to spend $400 on my car loan, but ended up spending $202 because we ended up refinancing in May. Um, so next month's June payments for the car will actually be a little bit higher to compensate for the two weeks that we ended up missing out on here. Uh, so we ended up... Uh, not using $198 of what was budgeted. Um, we planned and spent $320 for Ben's car. Uh, we put an extra $600 towards our savings, um, an extra $40 to my super, and then an extra $40 to Ben's super. We put $43.48 towards the WorkShares program, and we invested $50 for the month. Uh, spent $80 on electricity, $100 on gas, $60 on water, $200 on council rates, uh, $240 on Foxtel and internet, and $144 on my phone, and only $50 on Ben's phone because we found out that his bill was quite in advance, so we just cancelled a couple of payments. Um, $84 on health insurance, $115.50 on our home and contents insurance, $56.75 on my car insurance, $70.74 on Ben's car insurance, $46.66 on both mine and Ben's car rego. So all of those costs are fixed, so it's pretty rare that that will fluctuate when it comes to insurances and registration, so that's always nice to know. Uh, I spent $14.29 on Adobe Lightroom, $6.99 on Amazon Prime, uh, $14.99 on my Apple iCloud subscription, $4 for my Catch the Day subscription, $11.99 for Google Play, $15.99 for Netflix, $11.99 for Spotify, $14 for Stan, $15.95 for the Xbox subscription. So now we're going to get into the variable costs where it tends to um, either be under or over. This month there was quite a bit of over. So let me talk you through that. Uh, so for fuel for the month, we plan to spend $150, but we ended up spending $224.52, which was over budget by $74.52. Um, we ended up having to do a few unplanned trips to the city. Uh, so that's kind of um, gave us an extra tank of fuel that we didn't plan on having. Um, we planned $1,150 for the month for groceries and we ended up spending $1,074.98. So we were $75.02 under for the month. Um, we planned to spend $250 on dining out and takeout and we ended up spending... 
more than double. <laughs> so we spent $611.91, which was $361.91 over budget. So things just kept popping up this month um, that were completely unplanned. Um, and we ended up getting takeout a few times because life happened. Um, and we ended up dining out um, like a little bit ad hoc spur of the moment. So yeah, definitely overspent and blew the budget out the water there. Um, but we'll work on that one next month. I've actually bumped the uh, dining and takeout up by another $50 for next month just to try and give myself something a little bit more achievable. So we planned 50 for entertainment and we ended up spending $104, which was $54 over budget. Um, we planned on spending $50 on medical and we ended up spending $82.40, which was $32.40 over budget. I feel like medical is one of those categories that you can forgive yourself for going over because you don't actually know when you need to go to the doctor. Um, so yeah, we ended up having to have a couple of doctor's appointments. Um, so hence why it came up a little bit over. Um, we planned to spend $60 on the garden and we did not get a gardener in this month. So that was cool. So $60 under budget for that. Uh, dog grooming. Let me change this. It wasn't actually dog grooming. This is just going to be called dogs. <laughs> so um, it's $90 to get our dogs groomed, but this month we had no grooming planned for the dogs, um, but we did have to buy them dog food. Um, so we buy um, advanced brands, so it's quite expensive. Um, so the dog food was on special, so I ended up getting an extra bag of it, which was $76.15, which left us with a $13.85 in the dog category. Um, we budgeted for $150 for miscellaneous. However, we ended up spending $286.76. Uh, so that we went $136.76 over budget on that one. We planned to spend $920, well not spend, save for splurge money. Um, I, I mention this every time, but the splurge money isn't money that we actually physically spend. This is money that we give to each other. Um, from our pays so five percent of each of our pays goes to the other like the other person so that um, we have money to spend with no questions asked on whatever we want so we planned um, for that to be nine hundred and twenty dollars so um, what does that work out to be about 460 per person um, but uh, because Ben ended up getting a bit of extra pay we decided to give ourselves a little bit more money because there's some trips and stuff that are going on that we are personally paying for ourselves um, so we ended up uh, transferring across $1,208.40 for the month, which was $288.40 more than originally budgeted for. So in total, we plan to spend $7,261.98 and we actually spent $7,813.10. So we were... Uh, $551.12 over budget and majority of that came from what I would say like the dine out takeout category as well as uh, miscellaneous so yeah they're definitely areas that we know we went over on and we always try to rein it in um, there was actually a few things that we ended up saying no to just to try and make sure that we stayed um, like lower than what it could have been. Anyway, having said all that, from the $9,199 that we budgeted to bring in for the month, um, um, we planned to save $1,937.02. However, we actually ended up saving $2,347.30 for the month. So that's $410.28 more than what was planned. So that was a nice little um, bonus. So even with the overspend, we still managed to save more than what we planned. So in my eyes, that is still a win in my books. So let's now go down and have a look at the sinking funds and I will show you um, what, how we ended up allocating the extra funds into our sinking funds uh, this month. So, um, as I mentioned, we budgeted to put $1,937.02 into our sinking funds for the month. So we had uh, some available money on our, on our mortgage and because we have changed our savings goals now, we decided to pull the extra money off of the mortgage and put it into our offset savings account instead. So $2,903 was pulled off the mortgage and put 
into the sinking funds accounts. Um, I'll explain that to you a little bit later as to why we did that. Um, but for now, that's what that is. And then there was extra $300 from the um, savings that we like to put towards every week. So with this total of $3,203 and the actual total that we ended up saving of $2,347.30, um, that total was $5,550.30 that we had to put towards our saving funds for the month. So we were really, really excited um, to be able to distribute this money across the sinking funds. So our emergency savings is currently full at $15,000. So that was nice. We didn't have to add any money to that. Um, as I've mentioned in previous videos and the video um, that I made a while ago about how we're planning financially planning for a baby before we're even pregnant um, we have been saving towards nursery and maternity leave so we added five thousand and fifty dollars and thirty cents this month towards the nursery which puts us at a total of nine thousand and seventy three dollars and forty five cents um, we didn't put anything towards the maternity leave this month we decided to just pick a couple of the larger ones and like push some money towards it so it felt like we were achieving something a little bit faster it was just a goal that we wanted to set ourselves um, I also put $200 towards gifts for the month and $300 towards car maintenance because I have a car service that is due in the next couple of months um, now as far as funds used goes uh, we had to buy a few gifts for birthdays and a baby shower. So we spent $223.98 for the month, um, which gave us a total of what we added and what we took of $428.03 left in the gifts account. Uh, yeah, and we didn't add anything to the Christmas fund this month and we also uh, didn't add anything to miscellaneous. Uh, also for the sheer curtains, they are actually getting installed in two days time. So the final payment of the $1,800 that is outstanding will come out in the June budget and then the sheer curtain line will completely disappear from the budget. So that'll be nice to drop a line off and, you know, feel like we're achieving something a little bit more. Okay, so let's have a look at the budget summary for the month. So you can see here all of the categories um, and it gives you the actual costs of what we put towards everything for the month and the percentage and then I've done a little chart here as well which is just another nice visual. Uh, so you can see the largest portion of our um, money went towards debt so 25.25% um, went towards debt for the month. 1.71% uh, towards investing and extra super contributions, 8.6% uh, towards utilities, 4.14% towards insurance and registrations, 1.08% towards subscriptions, 21.4% towards living expenses, and 14.72% um, towards um, our others, other category and 23.1% towards our sinking funds also like savings. Um, so that's pretty good when I look at it. I like to see that the debt portion and the savings portion are at the highest um, because that way I really feel like we're kicking some goals. Um, so just quickly, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a look over here. Let me just move this across. Um, so here you can see, um, this is where I tracked every single expense category for the month. So I just like to put in the date that the expense was made, what the expense was, how much the expense was, and then um, break it down into all the categories. And then I can filter as required to actually populate the spreadsheet over here. Uh, I've, as I've mentioned before, if this spreadsheet is something that interests you, I do have it available in my Etsy store for sale. So be sure to check out the link in the description below if that is something you're interested in. Um, it's only a small fee and it is an instant download to an Excel um, spreadsheet. And yes, yeah, super easy to use. Um, and there's also an extra instructional video on my YouTube page um, of how to actually use the budget template that you've just purchased. 
Anyways, that's it for me, guys. Um, I'm pretty happy with the overall outcome of the month. Um, make sure, if you haven't already, you go and check out my um, June planned budget to see what we have planned and upcoming for the month of June. And that was my May budget wrap up. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, let me know down in the comments below whether there were any areas that you over or under spent in that were similar to mine. Or also let me know if you are completely new to budgeting and whether you found this video helpful or not. Um, if you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that little bell so you get notified of videos in the future. Until next time, bye guys.